See, diamonds are one of the most misunderstood things out there, but everybody loves them, everybody desires them, everybody wants them. Think about what diamonds represent. Let's talk about it. What's going on Closer to God Ministries? Welcome back to another Righteous Spirit Food episode. Today, I hope to help you get closer to the truth, closer to the kingdom, and closer to the will of God. Hallelujah, amen. We gotta give him all the glory, all the praise, all the honor, because he is truly deserving of it. Man, when you think about the culture and society that we live in, I wanna tell you that we are dealing with a generation that wants the diamonds, that wants the glisten, that wants that level of prosperity, that level of success. And when you think about this, a lot of believers in their relationship with God and lack thereof of faith, a lot of believers want the everything unto the kingdom added unto them. They want an abundance of blessing. A lot of people that love prosperity ministry, they, you know, they gravitate towards this stuff where God is going to put a million dollars in your bank account. God is going to, you know, do this for you. He's going to give you a mansion. You see what I'm saying? But the key thing that you're missing when it comes to diamonds and why this is so precious and why, you know, it glistens like that. I want you to understand that in the book of Genesis, when God created everything, don't think that God was a part of that process. And it is a reason that a diamond is going to be the focal point in me teaching you about, you know, real sacrifice, a real relationship with God, you know, focusing your priorities on uplifting and glorifying his holy name, glorifying the kingdom. When you think about this, a diamond, when we see it in the store behind, you know, a glass, we see it in a jewelry store, we see it on a necklace or something, everybody, man, that's real diamonds. And there's people out there that they don't do anything but test diamonds. They check the clarity, they check the, 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 the purity. They want to know the origins of where that diamond come from. There's, there's movies out there, blood diamond. There, when you think about the process of finding diamonds, people have lost their lives behind diamonds and the status that they have. When you think about wedding rings, when you think about engagements, when you think about jewelry, this is diamonds. And people often say like, you know, what, what, what is the price of love? And they, they symbolize this with a diamond. This was two brothers that did this. When you think about the scientific process, when you think about how God created this great earth and how we understand it scientifically, a diamond was produced amongst coal. Coal has a lot of pure and impure minerals that withstand a lot of heat, a lot of impurities, a lot of pressures under the earth's mantle, the tectonic plates. The process of finding these diamonds is very hard, very challenging, very difficult. Imagine digging through a hundred feet of earth in order to find a diamond. This is what people go through to find diamonds, but they don't ever stop to think that Man, this is a process that God created from the very beginning. When you think about you wanting all the blessings, you wanting to be blessed abundantly, when you want all the success, I want you to realize you didn't go an immense amount of tests. You didn't undergo the pressure that it took in order to form a diamond. And I want you to understand, like I said, in order for that diamond to be formed, it had to go under an immense amount of pressure. Are you willing to go through that same pressure? Are you willing to go through these same trials, tribulations, obstacles, affliction, and test in order to be a diamond? And I'm here to tell you that this is the reason you got people out here trying to produce and make fake diamonds. When you look at, you go in the beauty supply store, you go in Sally's, they got all these different diamonds that you can get, these, uh, what do you call them, cubic zirconiums. Everybody wants a diamond. Everybody wants to look like a diamond, but everybody doesn't want to go through the process. Everybody wants, you know, when you think about young men, all of the young men in sports, they want to go to the NBA, they want to go to the NFL, but they don't want to be coachable in that moment. They don't want to go through the pressures of that coach giving them good criticism that if they use it and apply it can help them out. When you think about all of us wanting all these blessings, we want all this, but we don't want to show our obedience to God. We don't want to show our submission to God. We just expect him to shine a light on us. And at some highlighting point of our life, we're a diamond and everybody sees us like that. But nobody thinks about, you know, 
the, the, the work that it took in when, you know, in ministry, I'm here to tell you that in order for me to get here, to, to create closer to God ministries, to be able to minister to you, to be able to teach you, to be able to educate you, I had to go through some tests. I had to go through some pressure. And in order to be the purest form of a diamond, and I'm going to continue to go through tests, trials, affliction, adversities in order to get a better clarity on my diamond. God is just finally, you know, I got saved. That's the beginning of the light shining. Three years later, you know, I'm like, man, I need to, I need to really start activating this. I really start, I really need to start moving in this. Light gets a little bit brighter. And pretty soon, I want you to think amongst the cold, amongst the blackness, you shine a light and if you get close enough, you can start to see the diamond. And as we brush away some of this outer cold that, you know, it's just the excess, just the impurities that was left over, you start to see a diamond. And as you start to dig it up, you realize, man, that's a big diamond, but you got to keep digging. Most of us don't want to do the digging. Most of us don't want to go through the process. We see these people that are doing honorable things, noble things, or successful things, and we automatically say, I want that. Social media is a reason behind this because we're able to see everybody's success, but we're not able to see their failures, their lessons that they went through. We can automatically tune in to a specific point in their life and say, this is where I want to be. I want you to think about Elon Musk. I want you to think about all of his business endeavors. I guarantee you he didn't have support when he was going through the pressures. I guarantee in his first business endeavor, his first thing that came in his mind and said, I'm going to do this. It wasn't the electric car by, by any means. But when you think about this, most people don't want to enter in your life when you're going through the pressures of being formed into a diamond. This is why most people don't want to be married. This is why people don't understand biblical marriage because in order to become a diamond of marriage, of relationships, you got to be willing to go through some trials, tribulations, some obstacles and affliction in order for that pressure to mold you, all those impurities, mixing with the purities and all these other minerals on the mantle shifting in reality and forming a diamond. Most people don't want to go through that. We just pinpoint and say, I want that. We look at old people holding hands in Walmart, one person holding the other person up, one person pushing a grocery cart, and they're just two old people. We're looking at them as like, man, they're happy, they're successful, but you don't understand what they went to in order to form what they have formed. You have just shined the light on it, and you don't understand it. And this is gonna be a problem with our generation, with our society, because they don't, nobody's breaking this thing down for them. See, in order for you to become whatever it is you wanna be in your life, I recommend you do something that's pleasing to God along your path, along your journey. But whatever you wanna be, it can be a doctor, it can be a truck driver, it can be anything, you name it. Most people don't understand the complexities of what you have to go through just to get where you've got. Chances are you got somebody at home that may be watching this, you're 25 years old and you got people around you, you got your mama, you got your dad telling you, you need to get up and do something with yourself. You need to get up and do something with yourself. But you're at home, 25 years old, still not doing anything. You're not in school, you're not working a job, don't wanna keep a job, but yet you wanna be the next big rapper. You haven't even recorded no songs, you haven't done no music, you haven't undergone any tests, any trials, afflictions, tribulations, any amount of pressure to get where you wanna be. You just want the success. You just want the prosperity. Your faith can't be like that. Your faith can't be like that. On a daily basis, you got to be willing to do real work for the kingdom, real work to glorify his holy name, real work that's pleasing to God. This is the test. But in order, in order for the right pressure to mold you into a diamond, see, God has to be shining his light on you. You have to say, God, you know, I'm at a point in my life where I want a relationship with you. I want you to shine your light on me so you can, you can help me get through some of these pressure forming, some of these molding moments of my life, some of these tests that I'm going through. Because right now, I don't see the diamond in the end. I see the test, I see the pressure, and it's weighing me down. But I know with your strength and your joy and peace that you give that surpasses all understanding, potentially if I keep going and I focus on, focus on you and focus on where you want me to go, I will be a diamond in the rough. I'm just brushing away the dirt right now. I'm just, just getting formed. Most people don't want to go through that. They don't understand it. They don't see it. You see what I'm saying? But when you get back to the moments in life where you're putting your hand to the plow and you're tapped in with God and doing what he wants you to do, using your gifts and talents in a manner that's pleasing to him and you're plowing, I want you to understand that the pastors, the ministers that you see now that touch your soul, they had to start somewhere. I want you to think that a lot of people are looking at the success. They're looking at the honorable moments 
thinking, man, I want to be that. But once you lay out what you have been through, this is what, this is where the rubber meets the road and people will be like, you know what? I changed my mind about that. It wasn't genuine. It wasn't a real desire. You saw the glisten of the diamond, but only thing you got was a cubic zirconium. You got cubic zirconium faith. You see what I'm saying? I'm telling you, you have to strengthen your relationship with our Lord and Savior on a daily basis so you can withstand those, those pressures that are diamond forming. Because you may not be a diamond today, but tomorrow may be the day, may be your breakthrough. Next year might be your breakthrough, God willing. But you've got to be willing to stand in the gap and having a relationship with God in order to help yourself, in order to help the people around you. That's the reason diamonds, they, they, there is no real way to govern the price. And some over here, some people charge this because of the process that it went to and they can explain the process. And then you got cubic zirconium where the process, the story, the history is very short. We took a couple chemicals, we put it together in 30 minutes, we had a cubic zirconium. That's the reason in the hair salon, you can get this stuff for, you know, $10, $5, get these little fake diamonds, turn your ears green. You see what I'm saying? Nobody wants to go through the process. You know, the people that sell cubic zirconium don't want to go through the process of coal mining digging through this coal, the expensive machinery that's needed in order to find diamonds. You see what I'm saying? You have to have gone through something in order to be a diamond. You might be at your starting point, you may be in the middle of it, but I'm here to tell you today, don't give up because the pressures that you're going through, the struggles, the, the adversity, the challenges that you're facing, they're diamond forming. And when God, you know, when you reach to God and say, hey God, I need some help because these pressures are getting real, Oh yeah, your diamond is forming. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Check out the link in the description because I'm only shooting it gun barrel straight.